Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's, uh, Ed's Orchids. I'm uh, just potting around in the greenhouse. I haven't done a video for a few days, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm pottering with. I've done, uh, I've done a job with the frags, so I'll show you that first. Well, these are a few frags, and uh, as you all know, frags... Uh, in the wild, the uh, they let the roots go into streams and waterfalls and and all that sort of stuff. So they're always getting fresh water, fresh oxygenated water, all the time. So what I've done, I've put ten of these fragmentariums on a drip system. You know, the water from the green from uh, that comes to the greenhouse is from the inside tap, and it goes from there. I've shown it all before down to the uh, RO unit and then uh, the red tube coming out of the RO unit is the waste water so I've coupled that up to some uh, aquarium airline tubing put a few clamps on and now I'm doing all the uh, fragmapediums well these 10 anyhow on a drip feed I'll see if I can just show you These are the little drippers, and you can see the water dripping out nicely. So it's coming out that fast in the mould. So they're getting fresh water and they're getting newly oxygenated water. So we'll see how those come on. I did these a long time ago on uh, this drip feed, and everything went well until I got crown rot. Well, in them days you couldn't deal with crown rot so well, and I must have lost 50% of my stock. So, uh, I'm keeping a good eye on these, but uh, I don't think they'll get crown rot now. Anyhow, that's my drip system. All the drips are going on the floor. Well, you can see. Making a nice mesh of the algae, which you'll clean off with a bit of bleach. But uh, that's what I'm doing there. Next to it is the uh, the sesquipedale, which is now pushing its nose through. So I would say that's three or four months that before that starts uh, blooming. And what else have I got at the moment? Oh, I've got some flowers. Would you believe it? A cymbidium. It's lovely to get some flowers. I don't know what type of cymbidium it is. It's just started to open. It's some kind of a noid, but uh, I don't know what the makeup of it is at all. Flowers are about two and a half inches across. Whoops. There we are. It's really nice to have some flowers in. But, uh, I ordered some uh, some new plants, three cat layers. What did I order? A Haesong Tian Mu. Uh, oh, Dawiana. And I ordered a uh, Fias. And I forget what the other cat layer was. But uh, I've been following its tracking from the 2nd of April. I followed the track in to yesterday morning when it just said cancelled. So I don't know what's going on. I've emailed the company three times and they've never answered me back. So I don't know what's going on. I just have to wait and see or then claim my money back. Ah well, that's how things go. When one goes wrong, everything goes wrong. Anyhow, keep smiling and keep safe. Now, uh, bit of a mixture today of everything. Uh, I haven't done a video for about three or four days, mainly because uh, I've been watching the GV, the GVOS 2020, and I do apologise, I had nothing to put on that. But now I've got uh, Symbidium opened, which I'll show you later. But first, I think we'll just have a look at uh, just a couple of cat layers to see how they're going on. Now this one in front of you is Elegant Dancer. Uh, rouge 
and uh, I've had it for quite, not a long time, it was one of the gifts to me, but I'll get the camera and we'll just go through and get a bit closer to it. Dear dear, that was a struggle. I mean, my, uh, my cats aren't kicking off as they should do because uh, I think they haven't got over being indoors. You see new root growth growing there and uh, I think somewhere there's a, a little nubbins just starting. Oh yeah, down there, which is a bright green. So uh, I'm only watering these once a week. So uh, I don't think I'm over watering them at all, which you don't have to do with cat layers water them, let them go bone dry, and then uh, do them again. So that's elegant dancer. Let's have a look at the next one we'll look at. Well this is the king of Taiwan, and it's got a beautiful maroon leaf here. None of the other leaves have been affected, but uh, and that's part of a new growth, and from the bottom of there is coming, there's a nubbins, another growth coming up from there. So uh, it's got a good root system and uh, I'm hoping for well, quite a few blooms off this uh, this year but uh, why is one leaf that colour and all the others are a nice shade of green? don't know, if anybody's going to answer me that, that'll uh, it'd be much appreciated. King of Taiwan. Now this one is Rinko Rinko Lelia Catlea Pink Empress Jew Shen. Beautiful leaves when they flower and uh, this isn't doing much yet. Just trying to show out some new uh, new roots which, are, which is a good thing. I've just watered them so they're just showing a little bit green. But apart from that no new growth on it. But they're quite big plants and quite nice. That's Pink Empress. Now just to change the sub now just to change the subject, we're back to the Orangis. And this is one that was given to me as a present with no label on. But it's just started shoving out new roots there. It's got plenty of good roots. So I'm quite hopeful for this one, that this is going to flower this year. That to me is a no ID Orangus, but when I find out what the flower's like, I'll be able to name it. And this is Orangus uh, Mr. Cedar. Plenty of roots on this one. No new growth yet. Oh yeah there is, there's a little new growth there. Right coming out by the flower. I don't think you can see it. Yep, there it is. But this has got plenty of roots. It's been on this mount for quite some time and the roots were way around the black, around the back. So that's another I'm hopeful for. Orangus Mr. Cedar. Now I've only got one repot to do and this is this uh, Paphia Pedalum Angel Hair. Uh, the two new grosses put up at the top there are bigger than the others, so uh, I'm getting pl quite pleased with this one. But I'm going to move it into a, from a plain pot into one of these I've just made holes in. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Just to give it a little bit more air so I can give it a little bit more water. Get out of the pot and have a look at the roots. See what the medium's like. Medium is dries a bone, and the roots are pretty good, but they're better if they're damp. So I'm going to use the same medium, which is very hard. Now I'm going to change it because it's full of those to the those they call them wood lice again. 
So I'll get some more bark and we'll put it in there. Come on. Some bark with some grass stones in. That's it. Just put a few uh, in the bottom. Make sure I've got it at the right depth. Which that looks fine. So we'll just fill it up there. Make sure all the all the gaps are filled up. The plant is just below the uh, the medium. And I think that's fine. So what I'll do now, I'll give that a good watering, and uh, we'll see how that goes on. You know, it's a cross between uh, since Swithin and uh, Sandy Rainham. Well I've potted the plant up now and uh, watered it and I've also done it sister plant. I call it its sister plant because I've got them both at the same time. That's got a nice new growth on it. Both in these pots with holes in now. And this one is uh, a Sandrianum cross John of Burkhardt. So uh, I'm hoping for great things for these plants. Anyhow, that's about all I've got time for. So, uh, well, not time for. It's all I've got to show you. Full stop. So thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.